Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to a very popular breakfast bread from Bangladesh. What we have here is potato stir fry that we're going to have with flatbreads, rotis and we're going to make a very simple dessert which can be alternated with vegan milk as well. So let's get started. For the alu bhaji, I'm using cumin, turmeric and red pepper here. The turmeric is the key but just black pepper and salt would be enough. We have about 500 grams of potatoes, one whole red bell pepper. We have one whole garlic and two whole onions, all cleaned. And we have one whole lemon and lots of mince. The lemon is going to be used for zest. And chop the potatoes very thinly to add the right amount of crisp and softness. We're going to thoroughly rinse the potato so we don't have the starchy flavor left when we eat the bhaji. And we're going to start off with chopping our onions very finely so that we have crispy fried onions when we fry them. And then we're going to chop some of the garlic as well. We're going to leave half of the chopped garlic as garnish and the other half we're going to cook in the bhaji. Next, we're going to chop our bell pepper. Either you can ch chop them in long forms or you can finally chop them into small pieces. I prefer them long like this because they also look very pleasing and taste very, very, very juicy. Next, what we're going to do is take our mint, a bunch of our mint, and finely chop them. Now, the key is the more finely chopped they are, the more flavorsome the bhaji is going to be. What we're going to do next is that we're going to take the lemon and we're going to skin it peel the skin and we're going to cut the skin into long zest form as you can see in the video and we're going to finally chop it now and what I'm going to do is take pieces of the lemon and make juice for the bhaji. This is absolutely optional but mind you it does add a lot of flavor to the bhaji. It makes a huge difference. So we have all our chopped items here. Now we're going to start frying them. We're going to warm up our pan and we're going to add about 4 to 6 tablespoons of frying oil. More oil is going to make the potatoes crispy but lesser oil is going to make it more soft. So it's totally up to how you would prefer your potatoes. We're going to take half of our chopped garlic and roast them. This half we're going to use as garnish after the bhaji is ready. Keep stirring them until you get like a golden brown color on them. Keep it aside. We're gonna add the cumin in the hot oil. After about 10 seconds, we're gonna add in our onions. And the other half of the garlic. We want this mixture to be golden brown, not very crispy, not very soggy. This whole process takes about seven to eight minutes. This process of frying the onions. And once you see it's golden in color, we add in our chopped and rinsed potatoes. We're going to add in the masalas that we introduced at the beginning of the video. Like I said, most of the masalas are optional. You can just go with black pepper and salt. Definitely stir them very well because this is what's going to evenly spread out the flavors. The salt I added later because I didn't want it, the potatoes to water and I added about two to three teaspoons of salt in here. I'm going to add the bell peppers once the potatoes have started get, becoming golden. Again, stir, stir, stir. That's how you're gonna get all the flavors. And the lemon juice that I had mentioned earlier, it really adds a bunch in the whole bhaji. 
I added more black pepper because I like my pachi spicy. And the lemon zest we prepared a few minutes ago. Definitely lots of herbs. You can add basil, you can add rosemary, thyme, any herb you prefer. We're gonna let it cook for five to eight more minutes once you notice the potatoes becoming softer and you know it's ready ready to serve and ready to eat the other half of the roasted garlic that we roasted at the very beginning um we're just using it as garnish it just adds a bit more crunch to the whole dish and a little bit of lemon slice just to make it look pretty more aesthetic let's move on to our rotis for the rotis we would be boiling about one cup of water once you see the water boiling we add some salt just for flavor and we're going to add about 500 grams, 400 to 500 grams of our flour. Gradually do it because otherwise we're going to end up with lots of lumps, which we all want, which also doesn't taste good at all. And I'm just going to stir it so that we can mix the flour together. It's very basic. It's like making any other dough. So if you make like pasta at home, you would be very familiar with this process. The boiling water is what's going to keep the rotis soft. Once they're fried, the cooler the water is, the harder the roti is going to be, which is very unpleasant to eat. So we really need boiling water for this one. And thoroughly mix the atta and the water. Once it's cooled down a bit, we're going to take it out of the pan and put it in our mixing bowl. Precautionally, I have kept aside a bit of the atta from the packet. It's just to use if in case the dough is very soft. Be very careful because the dough at this point is very, very, very hot and you may burn. And what I'm doing is just quickly rolling it inwards and then pushing it out or you need the softer and more delicious rotis you're gonna have like i said the process is very similar to making dough for pasta so what i did is i took a chunk and i just rubbed it against my thumb it makes a good circular shape i'm gonna do it the traditional way i'm going to use a pin to roll it into a circle what you can do is just roll it whichever shape you prefer and just cut it off with like a plate on the top i add a little bit of flour on the board so it makes it really easy to roll up the roti and we're going to fry it without any oil on a heated pan and within like two minutes our rotis are ready so we're just gonna quickly move to our dessert for the dessert we have two liters of milk we have some alina we have lots of nuts and some canela definitely sugar so we're going to start by adding milk in our pot i ended up using one and a half of the two packets we have and uh, i would prefer to add one stick instead of two because the canela was a bit overpowering i think it was just the brand i was using i'm adding some elaichis in it elaichis are cardamom and they're easily available these days in any store in jumbo in mini preso anywhere you go we're going to add sugar i personally don't eat a lot of sweet so i'm keeping my sugar quantity low here but you can add about 8 to 10 tablespoon which would be quite sweet though 
but then it's just about what you prefer i'm gonna add about seven to eight tablespoons of semolina you would want to add them gradually and not just throw every bit of it in the pot because otherwise just like with our flour we're going to end up with a lumpy texture which is definitely not pleasant we're going to constantly and instantly we're going to start stirring and take out our canela sticks because otherwise the flavor is just going to be way too intensified we're adding in our raisins our dried fruits dried coconuts and lots 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 of nuts chopped nuts so the more nuts and fruits you add in it the more flavorsome it's gonna be the more delicious it's gonna be again every two minutes stir 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 otherwise there are going to be lots of lumps and it's i repeat very unpleasant to eat I had kept the heat in medium low at this point because high heat is just going to make the milk flow out of the pot. As you can see the difference in the texture this molina has cooked through and we have a very thick and delicious looking texture. This is almost ready, we're not going to dry it out entirely because once we serve it and once we refrigerate it, the thing is going to come together just like pudding. So this texture is perfect and we're going to serve it. We're going to use more raisins and nuts to garnish our dessert. And our dessert is ready. So here we are, our dishes are ready and this is something you can have in the morning, in the evening, you can have it individually, you can use the rotis as tacos, you can have the fried potatoes with rice and you can have the dessert just by itself. Hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making this video and thank you.